Good morning, everybody. It is um, Wednesday, I think. Um, April 12th. And we are currently back out at the compound, the Palm Bay compound. And I thought I'd take a moment to continue our exploration of the area. Um, although I kind of know the answer for this part already. Um, for those of you who haven't recognized this area yet, we are actually by the area that um, had been set up with the Army Invasion area. Camp Freedom 1 right there, the abandoned co uh, zombie camp. It's just right up the road. And um, this was the area that they had barricaded with those Army vehicles um, when they were doing the mud run. Um, Tough Mudda. And... Um, this is the area, the roads that they built, although it looks like it's overgrowing. People haven't been coming through. And if you GPS this location, which um, I don't have the coordinates, but maybe I'll provide a link for it in uh, the description. You can see it's starting to, uh, the overgrowth is starting to take over again. Now, the others have been using this area here because you can see fresh tire marks. Um, but right over here was the opening field that you can actually see on um, Google Maps and it had um, what looked like giant barricades here or barriers those were climbing walls that had been set up here but you can see that in the brief amount of time that they've um, since they've left plants these will probably become big brush or trees have already started to spring up that's how fast the um, area overgrows how fast nature takes back reclaims this area you can see they put this um, wood chipping here because that's where they put the barrier up and people were supposed to run and climb through it. And it looks like there's a back road here. Also a bunch of trash that was dumped. Water bottles. And I think this was from the Tough Mudda. You can even see the little cups. So they didn't really clean up after themselves. They, um, I guess they collected these and were supposed to dump it into the dumpster that was over there that I went dumpster diving in, but they must have forgot it or something. But you can see how they had cleared all this area. They had bulldozers. That's what had scraped up the ground and was making noises and stuff. They had bulldozers out here, um, clearing the path. Wish I had one. But there's roads that go back there, which I'm not going to walk down there, but, um... Well, I see something kind of weird. I'm going to go look at real quick. Maybe just a flag. I think this was a running path that they had made for the um, the tough mudders to run through. And, um, yeah, it was one of their... Um, they had tied... Um, a marker here to let people know the route so they didn't run off and get lost in the woods. So there's more paths here for the um, that the others take. You could probably um, see more of how the roads look and stuff by going to um, Google Maps and looking at this area. And you'll see um, the easy way to spot it is to look for the um, structures. Ooh, almost fell there. Look for the structures that they had put up the two barricades right here, the two climbing walls that said, go army. And that's why I thought the army reserves were here. <laughs> um, but if you find the, the barricades and you can spot this area and follow those trails to see where they go. But I think it's just a circuit loop that they made. Um, let's take a look over on this side. This area kind of existed as an open area before, but it wasn't as developed as it is now. I'm looking at these little marks, and I'm thinking these are animal tracks. I don't know if you can see that on the ground there. And more of um, the ride here. Makes me wish I had an ATV. I could explore some of these trails back here that they have. But um, if you recall the original episodes with um, Camp Freedom 1, I used to hear the uh, ATVs all around me. That's why... Um, these roads here, they run like almost completely around the camp. And there's our vehicle, which we're going to head back to because um, 
I'm planning on uh, actual construction of the yurt today. Not the entire thing, but parts of it. You know, so it's the animals out here. I hope they're not stalking me.